So today I'm reviewing the Wii Mini. There is two things you need to know about this console. It's not backwards compatible so you can play GameCube games and there's no internet connection whatsoever. Like there's not even control ports or slots for memory cards. This is basically just a Wii. That's all it is. So you got your power, your eject, so you can actually take the disc out when it's off, so that's very nice, I actually like that. And on the side you got like these vents. On the back you can see, there's the fan, and there's all your plugs and all the rest. You got a vent, your sink button, it says a Wii on the top, and Nintendo right there and down the bottom you have these little rubber feet and if I turn it the right way you can actually read what's at the bottom if you care for that it does come with a controller move that back it's red it also has one of those rubber things on it but I don't have it right here, so this is what it looks like. This system also comes with batteries. I got the one that came with the game. Here's the game it came with, Mario Kart. Here's my favorite part of this console so far though. Go like that. I can open it when it's not even plugged in. That is awesome. So now I'll show you what it looks like when it's plugged in. Here's the Wii Mini when it's plugged in. As you can see, there's a little indicator light. Then when it's off or on, it's red when it's off. The one thing about this system, you gotta know you got one of these big power blocks. So the power supply is not in the system itself. And the other thing is, it's not an HD system, so you get stuck with these. The yellow, red, and white. And when you turn on the system, the light turns blue. And the system boots on. So now let's check the Wii features. As you can see, it just looks like a regular Wii menu. The thing I don't understand, why did we need all these pages if we don't have internet? So that's kind of useless. You got everything that's the same. You got your save data. Your Wii settings. If it loads. Yeah, you see all the same settings, except with no internet. Then you have your Wii menu, or oh, whatever the heck, your me creation thing, so you can make your Mii's, then your game. Look at this quick. Wii manual, it's basically your online instruction book. And you can see you got all your different things here. Tells you basically everything that you want to know. Just click on one and there you go. I'm not going to look at all this though, because I really don't want to. Let's go back. Now I haven't actually noticed anything different in the way the games actually look. So your sample with Mario Kart. This is actually the game that came with it, Mario Kart, it's real good.
It works pretty well with this sensor bar. Races. I'm just gonna do a little bit of one just to get your idea what it looks like on the TV. I don't actually have one of those proper recorder things, so I have to use my camera. So sorry about that. I am looking to get one of those proper recorders, so the thing is, as I get that, I have to get a microphone as well to record my voice over for views and stuff like this. First place, this is actually very really easy to do. Oh, so I got some. It's really fun. It's a good game to get with your Wii Mini. I'm just trying to survive. Yay! I'm winning! Eat my dust! thing about Mario Kart, you want to stay on the track because if you get off the track you go really slow and it sucks. That sucks and small! Why am I small? Yeah, so there's really no difference in quality with the Wii Mini. Can't see a thing. See you on the last lap, so should be fun. So far, it looks like I'm gonna get first place, unless I totally screw up somehow. Yeah, like like that. That's a big screw. Up. Pass me. Yes, first push. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Wii Mini review. Thank you for watching. Now and up to 14 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Keep watching some videos. And then I'll do more videos like this. Alright. Bye for now.